Good morning and Merry Christmas. Delighted that you can join with me for a time of prayer on this Christmas day in a more quiet and contemplative way to offer morning prayer in and amongst all of the busyness of Christmas time, even during a pandemic. So let's just take a moment to prepare ourselves for worship, for prayer, to focus on God coming to us and recognizing the presence of the coming Christ into our lives and into the world even of today. Let us pray. Blessed are you, O Christ, incarnate word, you were before time began and came into the world to save us. Blessed are you, Son of Righteousness, you shine with the love of God and illumine the whole universe. Blessed are you, Child of Mary, born in a manger. You shared our humanity. Let heaven and earth shout their praise. With all the voices of heaven we celebrate your coming, O Emmanuel. Let heaven and earth shout their praise. With all the creatures on earth, we sing and dance at your birth, O shoot of Jesse. Let heaven and earth shout their praise. Blessed are you, sovereign God, creator of heaven and earth. To you be praise and glory forever. As your living word eternal in heaven, assumed the frailty of our mortal flesh. So may the light of your love be born in us to fill our hearts with joy as we say. Blessed be the holy and undivided Trinity, one God. Blessed be God forever. A reading from the Gospel of John, from the first chapter. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God, all things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light, the true light which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood or of the will of the flesh, or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us. And we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. The word of life, which was from the beginning, we proclaim to you. The darkness is passing away. The true light is already shining. The word of life, which was from the beginning, that which we heard, which we saw with our eyes and touched with our hands, we proclaim to you. For our fellowship is with God and with God's beloved Jesus the Christ. The word of life, which was from the beginning we proclaim to you. There shall come forth a shoot from the stalk of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots, and the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the Spirit of wisdom and understanding, the Spirit of counsel and might, the Spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. He shall not judge by what he, his eyes see or decide by what his ears hear, but with righteousness he shall judge the poor and decide with equity for the meek of the earth. The wolf shall dwell with the lamb 
and the leopard shall lie down with the kid, the calf, the lion, and the fatling together, with the little child to lead them. They shall not hurt or destroy in all my holy mountain, for the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord, as the waters cover the sea. Glory to God, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first and great commandment, and the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. Let us pray. Let us pray to the creator of the universe. Holy One, by the good news of our salvation, brought to Mary by the angel, hear us and grant us peace. By the mystery of the word made flesh, hear us and grant us peace. By the birth in time of the timeless Son of God, hear us and grant us peace. By the manifestation of your beloved to the shepherds, hear us and grant us peace. By the obedience of the maker of the world to Mary and Joseph, hear us and grant us peace. Today we offer our prayers for the world. We pray for peace in our world. We pray for an end to war and for a compassion and a love between neighbors. We pray for the church, for all those who are celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ today, that his wisdom, grace, and peace may spread from all the churches. We pray for the Holy Land and for many places around the world for peace, justice, and reconciliation. We remember our refugee family connected to St. John Shaughnessy, but refugees all around the world and all asylum seekers. We pray for those who are homeless at this time, those who live on the streets, those who have no home, for those who are lonely, who feel forgotten, rejected by this world. We pray for families with young children joyful celebrations of Christmas. May they still be filled with wonder and joy. And we pray too for those who are in our thoughts, who need our prayers at this time. Pray for those who are sick, those who are in hospital or care homes. We pray for all those who care for them, all medical professionals. We pray too for those who are dying and we remember those who have died. May they rest in peace and rise in glory. And we remember all those who are grieving at this time. We pray God's healing, God's hope, God's renewal known to us in the coming of Jesus Christ. God of glory, your splendor shines from a manger in Bethlehem, where the light of the world is humbly born into the darkness of human night. Open our eyes to Christ's presence in the shadows of our world, so that we, like him, may become beacons of your justice and defenders of all for whom there is no room. Amen. Rejoicing in the presence of God here among us and gathering our prayers and praises into one, 
Let us pray as our Savior taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May God, who has called us out of darkness into the marvelous light of Christ, bless us and fill us with peace. Amen. Every blessing to you and your family for Christmas and for the new year of 2021. Thank you.